Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? It's Hotak! We're back with another weekly update on the clan. Hey, what's going on, guys? All right, so we are still hard at work working on our Tier 5 Citadel. We made more good progress again. It's still going to take a lot of heavy lifting. Uh, let me show you. Here, let's, 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 let's go to some of the plots. Let me show you where the action is, right? Uh, sure. All right. So... Over here, um, is the mine, as you can tell. We have precious ore, we have normal ore, as we call it, and stone. Over here, we have the furnace smithing plot, um, and you can make normal bars and precious bars. So let me show you what we need exactly. So this is how, how the outlook is right now, guys. Uh, why don't we also place this bad boy down while we're at it, huh? Shazam. Do a little bit of that. Do a little bit of this. There we go. And got my bubbles pet. So, how are things looking? Well, let me show you. We are doing very well in some things. Other areas we need a lot, since it takes so much. Um, for tier 5, this is what we still need. We still need 2,795 wood. Easy, no problem. Two caps will take care of that uh, with ease. Bam, wood will be done, and I'll keep it locked. Other than upkeep. Upkeep, as you can see, it'll stay the same for next week. They always, for the same tier, it stays the same. So that'll be 2,335. So once that is reached next week, close it off no more wood cutting because we need to focus on what we need um, I understand if you want to do wood cutting but until we reach what we need the Citadel takes priority over that um, if you look at stone stone I'm not worried about stone we need 23,396 36 more that's a lot if everyone capped on that, we, we could have that done. But that's not how it works, and we can't have everyone cap on it. Because we need upkeep, so don't worry about that, guys. Charcoal doesn't count for anything. You need it for bars, so it's kind of tied in. And you need ore for bars, so it's, that's tied in as well. Now, let me look over here and show you. So right now, we have 2,008 precious bars. We only need 2,716 more. And we'll have all we need for the um, uh, tier 5. Now the reason it's so easy to get gold is because let me show you what the upkeep is. See the upkeep is only 50? So once we get more than 50 bars, which takes 2 minutes, it all gets towards um, our goal. Everything goes towards upkeep first. That's how RuneScape is set up. That's not, that's not how we work it. But that's... How it works and it makes sense since if you don't have what you need we have extra how you have extra in the first place you pay off your debts first and then it goes towards what you want um, so that's why it's so easy getting that guys so we should have this done this week um we actually have enough now So I'm going to change that up. Awesome. And I'll unlock that so it locks on target. Alright, so let me tell you what I just did. Um, The way RuneScape works is resources are required to make certain things, right? So bars, for each bar you need an ore and a charcoal to make one bar. So essentially... If you have something that says you need 10,000 bars, you also need 10,000 ore, 10,000 charcoal, and that'll make your 10,000 bars. So in reality, it's a total of collectively 30,000 resources to make 10k bars. Right? Alright. So we have enough, a little bit more than we need actually. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Um, 
Alright, so basically, we need a hundred, a hundred more, and then we can lock that up. So, since it takes away, right, because you need to make bars, the number goes down. So if you set a goal for 5,000, and someone's mining, and at the same time, someone's making bars, the number is going to hit 5,000, unless someone slacks off and falls asleep, and then the ore passes the bars. You understand what I mean? So even though you set 5,000, you can still mine more than a total of 5,000 ore by the way that it goes down and then up and then down and then up, back and forth. Now normal bars you see right there, we need 23,483 more of those. So my thinking is, get gold, as we call them, gold bars done. Lock it, no more mining gold because we don't need it. We, we don't need it, it's going to go to waste. We don't need any more bars, so look, on the flip side, you can still get your smithing XP, just do the uh, the normal, just over here, just smith these, same XP, and then if you want mining, mine stone, or uh, run over to the other side of the plot, and just mine the normal ore, and you still get XP, you still get your mining, you still get your smithing, but we're not wasting resources at the same time, which is sad to do. Um, charcoal, we're gonna need more charcoal guys, so if you're if you're able to pony up and help us a lot by doing some charcoal, that would be awesome. Now we have extra right now, so maybe I would suggest smithing first, or if you want to mine, or woodcut, perfect. Use up what we have for charcoal, and then get more if you have to do it. And that's basically what we're up to. Um, Dull Experience Weekend has been announced, September 23rd is when it starts, at least for me in America on the East Coast, that's when it starts. Exact times, it's probably going to be 7am again, Eastern, um, you have to figure out your own time for yourself. Or if you have the in-game clock, go off what they say, keep that set, look at that, there you go. Please prepare, over prepare. Don't stress out, and don't spend a lot of money. Now, I know that's impossible for some people to do, but that's my advice, my opinion on things, and let me tell you why. If you buy things now, in my opinion, you are stupid. If you buy things on the weekend, you are insane. Now, let's just say the prices of things have doubled. They've already gone up. I'm not saying double, but l l let's just say you're buying things at double price. If you're getting double experience, and you're buying things at double price, you're not saving anything. The same thing goes for if you stress yourself out so much, and then just completely burned out, so tired, you know, the week after the weekend, and you don't play as much, and you're not having a good time. In my opinion, that defeats the purpose, and that is not smart of you to do because yes if you play boatloads on the weekend and then you hardly play during the week it kind of offsets what you did yes you saved money but you could have been past that point to begin with if you hadn't even spent all that time doing all that stuff um but regardless guys i want you to have fun Please have a fun time. Let me know what you're doing, uh, what your plans are, how you plan to do it, how much time you plan to do it, what your goals are for experience, anything you want. Me, if you don't know by now, 120 construction. Um, I'm already... Where did the rank is? Huh, I'm looking dumb right now. It does happen. Oh, here we go. So look, let me just. I'm not. I'm not bragging. I'm just. I'm showing you where where I am at right now. All right. So now, since I've been doing more experience, I'm below the top thousand in the game for construction. I don't have 120 yet. How low will it go before I actually get 120? And I'll see how many people actually have 20 construction. Um, it's really cool to me to see that I'm that high up. Look, I've 120 wood cutting. I'm ranked 1,300 and 
one. That's really cool, but less than a thousand people who have ever played RuneScape have 120 in construction. That's pretty awesome to me. That's pretty awesome. And I'm proud to have that. Um, so if I can get like another 10 mil XP knocked off, I should be able to get 120 on the weekend. Um, which is awesome. I've cut all the logs myself. I've turned them all into planks. Like, I've done a lot of work in this. A couple of weekends, dull experience weekends, and dailies, and warbands now. And the beach is helping out too. So, that's what I'm going for, guys. I got a lot of rock tails from my fishing. Could do some of that. Could do some crafting, maybe. Could do a tiny bit of summoning. Maybe 1,000 overloads, also. I'll be okay. Um, before I go, guys, do not forget the Claimer Filter reward. If you've capped before, you choose any skill you want. And my dog is going crazy on the side. Also, once you've about capped halfway, guys, you can claim, um, like, bonus experience. I've already done it, but I'll show you. You go in the keep. You run over to the side where the guy is, called the Quartermaster. You can also deposit your orts for the avatar, claim experience, and then you choose any of the skill plots that we have so you can get, at the moment, smithing XP, woodcutting XP, um, fire making, mining, and those are the options for now. Once we hit tier 5, we can have crafting, we can do summoning also. Um, summoning, in my opinion, isn't worth it. You don't really get that much bonus experience. And that's where we're at. So guys, please help us cap. Please visit the Citadel at least so we get account for it. Um, and uh, have fun. So until next time, guys, I'll see you then. And... Peace out.